Hello, this is Presh Talwalkar, and this is part two of the five-part series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. In this video, we're going to go over the move notation, which will be extremely important to understanding the sequences of moves in the layer method. Before we get started solving the cube, I want to explain Rubik's Cube move notation. This will be extremely important for following the directions in the remaining videos. We orient the cube dependent on the face we're looking at. If we rotate the face we're looking at 90 degrees clockwise, that move is called F. If we do F a second time, that rotates it 90 degrees clockwise once more. This is F a third time. And here's F a fourth time which brings the front face back to its original position. If we rotate the front face 90 degrees counterclockwise, that's known as F prime or F inverse. And similarly, we can keep doing this multiple times. So here's F prime done three times, and here's F prime for a fourth time. The other sides of the cube are given positions relative to the face we're looking at. For example, if we look at the face to the right of the face we're looking at, the side to the right of what we're looking at, a 90 degrees clockwise move is denoted R for right. We can repeat the move of R four times and bring the right side back to the original position. There's also the move of R prime or R inverse, which is a 90 degrees counterclockwise move. The side which is on the left of what we're looking at, we can move it. The move L is a 90 degrees clockwise move relative to that face. So after repeatedly doing L four times, we get back to the original position. L prime is counterclockwise. And we can repeatedly do that move to change the left side. The side which is on the top or up, this is the move U, which is a 90 degrees clockwise move. And here we bring U once more and bring it back to the original position. If we rotate the upper face 90 degrees counterclockwise, that's U prime or U inverse. Finally, there's the side which is down, the bottom side we'll call down. So the move of D is a 90 degrees clockwise move of the bottom side of the cube relative to what we're looking at. Similarly, if we go counterclockwise 90 degrees, that will be down inverse or down prime. There's also a back face, and you could similarly add notation to that, but we're not going to need it for any of the moves in our videos. I hope you liked this video. Please click through to watch the next video, which explains how to solve the first layer of the cube. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker. And you can get my books listed on my website.